Jackson just clawing Anna Henderson back here. The the young Brit uh, now with the uh, the Yumbo Visma team, but Jackson neutralizes that move there for Lotta Kopecky. Always a good teammate is Alison Jackson. Here come Mobby Star through now with 1.9 kilometers to go. Jorgensen is in there. That Danish champions jersey, easy to pick out from that helicopter shot. Lotta Kopecky just moving up on the wheels here of her teammates. Live team have done a phenomenal job today to keep uh, Lotta Kopecky in the right position as have Mobby Star. so can they now deliver the Dane to the line for her first victory of the season 1.7k to go is there an opportunity Danny for uh, for anyone to take a flyer here in this just outside that final K there's always an opportunity, Marty. I think, you know, it's never over till it's over. And I do think you're going to see riders trying to attack in this last 1.5 kilometers of the race, especially with sprinters like Jolene de Hoor and Chloe Hoskins still in this group. It's not worth it for some teams to try and leave it to a sprint with such spr strong sprinters in this group. So I think we might see a last ditch attempt from riders like Marlon Rusa, who we know is so, so strong. But I've also been really impressed with the live riders again today. They had a fantastic ride as well on Saturday. It's impressive to see how these teams are coming together when they're such new compositions of the of the team of teammates um, and in only the first two races of the season. But it's Mobby Star now who are on the front. Look at that. They've got it together. So impressive. It is a real new mix of riders. Emma's just sitting back. We know she can sprint. She's got a great sprint on her to take second in Het Newsblad. <clears throat> such a such a young rider so it looks like she's really up for it again today coming into the last one kilometer of the race Bryony van Velzen is a, a young rider that's also in there for uh, Dolcini van Ag Proximus. You can see her just on the outside there in the uh, red and white. Is a good sprinter. Leading this out, though, are uh, Team Movistar. Those purple jerseys have lived, trying to set this up for Lotta Kopecky. The Belgian champion is there. You can see that jersey, Kopecky. Third last year, it was Chantelle van der Broek Black that took it on her own. Christine Majerus won the bunch sprint. We now get this shot. Here come Team Movistar looking to try and set this up now for uh, Jorgensen. Chloe Hosking is right there in the mix for Trek Sega Fredo on the out. Here goes uh, Liv just on the right there. Rusa looking around for her teammates. Chloe Hosking is in the perfect position for Trek Sega Fredo right on the wheel of the Danish champion. Amy Peters is also now poised and ready as is Lotte Kopecky. Everyone looking to try and time this move now to perfection. Not go too early. And now the sprint is starting. Anna Henderson's got up there. She picks herself now onto the wheel of Chloe Hosking. But Emma Norsgaard Jorgensen goes. Look at the power now of the Mobby Star rider as Chloe Hosking just tries to claw it back. Here comes Lotte Kopecky. Is it going to be the first victory of the season for Mobby Star? Kopecky challenging Jorgensen right on the line is Lotte Kopecky. Kopecky going to take it. Yes, she is. Lotta Kopecky takes the victory there for Liv Racing. A long, drawn-out sprint there for Emma Cecily Norsgaard Jorgensen. But Lotta Kopecky plays it cool, plays it to perfection, and takes the victory. That was such an impressive sprint there from Lotta Kopecky. She was fourth on Saturday, and she obviously wasn't happy, <laughs> happy with that ride. She timed that to perfection. She waited and waited. Emma took it on a little bit too early. It didn't seem like Chloe quite had the legs. She had a great jump, but it was Lotta Kopecky, this rider, who timed it perfectly and managed to get round Emma just at the right moment. What a rider she has become in the last uh, year or so and you've got to say that you know moving over from lotto sedan now to the live racing team and looking at how they've ridden today it's as a leader it's just about inspiring your teammates isn't it to to want to sacrifice your, themselves for you take us take us through that sprint danny yeah, so it looks like Lotta Kopecky got on her teammate Evie Kukuyoepa's um, team and Emma's taken it on a little bit early. You can see Chloe hasn't quite got the legs to, chat, to close down Emma, but it was Lotta Kopecky who timed that perfectly. She came off Chloe's wheel. She got in the slipstream of Emma and came past her just at the right moment. And she won by at least a bike length. So that was a super impressive sprint and timing there from Lotta Kopecky.
Got to shout out Gladys for Hulse there in the red of Arkea. She had a good finish um, as well, and uh, so good to see um, good to see her getting up there as well. But the victory belongs today to Lotte Kopecki, the Belgian champion, fourth in Umlop Het Newsblad, the winner today here at Le Sami de Dam. <laughs> Just picking that one apart, but uh, so many attacks in towards the finish. A great addition of uh, of Le Sami de Dam. Always gives us uh, a really exciting race and uh, plenty of uh, the cobblestone sections. And uh, they uh, said they, they did call this race the Little Paris Bay. And uh, if you follow the Trek Sega Fredo team on social media, they've been out wrecking the new Paris Roubaix, which is uh, which is coming this year as well, but uh, it's a historic race, is Le Sami de Dam, and a and a real worthy winner in uh, Lotta Capecchi, and what a hopefully, as she says, she'll uh, she'll team up this year with Yolin uh, Dura for the uh, for the Olympic Madison, as we uh, just see some of the groups sprinting it out, but uh, that's going to be that's a that's a big that's a that we early break that we had here sorry stumbling over my words but early break we had here early today we had uh, we had lots of Kopecky and Yolene Dura and Amy Peters in that early break when we came on there and they, they, you would say that's a pretty good uh, Olympic Madison final there with uh, if you added Kirsten Veld into the mix I know yeah we were just just gonna say we needed Kirsten Veld to to really uh bring that as a Madison um, quartet, but it's really impressive to see riders like Lotte Kopecky being able to be top of their game in both the track and the road. They are really becoming different sports, especially with the length of women's racing increasing. Um, I think for Lotte Kopecky, this would have played into her favor being a shorter race, um, only 92.5 kilometers, but she's proven that she's really stepped up. I think it was really good for her to stay in Lotto um, for a couple of years and really develop as a rider and really get her opportunity to shine i think if young riders go into big teams too early they can kind of get put into that domestique role and never really get that chance to to show what what they can do but i think it's been a, a fantastic almost career move by Kapeki to go from lotto to live and now she's getting her chance and live are really stepping up to the plate working well together um and and the results are paying off yeah, a lot of Kopecky also uh, ventured into the field this winter, had a go at cyclocross and just uh, took to it like a duck to water, as they say. She, uh, she had some great, she had some great rides in the, uh, in the winter. But let's have a look back through this. This was our early breakaway group that we were, that we were talking about when we, when we came on air. It was Marlon Rusa, Emma Norsgaard, Jorgis, a lot of Kopecky, Amy Peters and Yolin Dura. But that work done by Audrey Cordon or Ago um, to pull this move uh, back and we saw that her teammate um, Chloe Hosking was in that uh, that group behind but the the teamwork today was was something else it and really Kopecky was as well look watching at this one Danny sorry just the you know two breakaway moves and still you know still had the power at the end for the for the kick yeah, it just so shows how strong Lotte Kopecky is to be able to make it into those moves time and time again and then have the power to, to sprint, come the finish and take the victory. She's obviously been working on that. And as a coach, I, I normally do set my riders to do efforts when they're tired. And I think that's really key. You know, it's not just about being able to do fantastic efforts fresh, but also when you're tired. And it looks like Lotta Kopecky really has that strength and the ability to do that. Repeated efforts, even after 90 kilometers of racing. And you can see here, Emma just took it on a bit early, maybe a bit of inexperience there. Chloe Hoskin didn't quite have the legs to get round her. She was in a perfect position, but it was Lotta Kopecky, timed it to perfection. She's got the legs to get her arms in the the, uh, again in this last I'm in. You can see the drops Lacole rider there, Marjoline Van Galoof getting herself in Chloe Hosking. Slight cross headwind looking at the wind direction of the of the finish. 
it, it was you could see everyone was very very patient on that run into the line weren't they they were just waiting 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 and perhaps looking at the the wind direction of the finish um emma norsgaard jorgensen just went a touch too early there's your top 10 though lotta kopecky takes it from emma jorgensen chloe hoskin gladys for Hulse, marjolein van Peluf, uh, amy peters or tomasi anna henderson great result for her and uh, you've got uh, van der holster and romy casper is your top 10. Thank <laughs> you.